I want to help people answer doesn't work, guys. It doesn't apply at all to this question. Tell them, tell them, guys, that you are really, really into nursing. Tell them something that is personal, something that is related to you. Show them that you are really into this job. All right, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my returning subscribers. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Neseki, and on this channel, I talk much about nursing, nursing, nursing healthy, and my lifestyle as well. So if you are really into these topics, if you want to hear more from me, please do subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so that you know whenever I upload a new video on this platform. Okay, guys. So, guys, just want to say congratulations to you guys, all of you, you know, your name has been shortlisted, you have been shortlisted, shortlisted guys, and um, very soon you will be called for an interview, they will notify you that you will be having an interview on such such a date, on such such a venue, so Congratulations from Neseki. I'm just happy for you guys. So guys, I know you've been wondering about the questions that are going to be asked in the interview. And uh, some of you have actually come to the inbox. Some of you have um, put some questions in the comment section asking about the questions that are going to be asked. And uh, already I have promised you guys in my last, last video uh, that I'm going to give you some interview tips, right? So don't worry guys, this video, this is what this video is all about. So just sit back, relax, take your pen and pencil and try to write one or two, okay? Mm, all right, guys, let me say this before we start these questions or these tips that i'm going to uh, give you right now uh they are not um the actual questions that are going to come we are just you know deliberating around okay we are just giving you some questions that might or might not come so it's best for you guys to do your research do your own research about the interview okay so that you will know and you prepare yourself fully okay guys one thing that i want you guys to do is this um just do your research right get some questions from internet and then you write them down you write those questions down and then what you need to do is try to answer those questions you know devise your answer record yourself uh, on your phone or on your laptop then try to listen to that voice listen to yourself while you are answering those questions if you are confident enough to you know to go for this interview if you feel that you are not confident enough repeat and repeat and record yourself several times until you feel that until you are satisfied that you are now confident you are now ready for this uh, uh interview okay this is very important this is actually important we have done this several times okay and takajuona it works tip number one guys you need to okay i'll be looking at my paper you know i've written a lot of um several questions here several tips for you guys so don't worry if I look down there, don't mind guys, you know, you know, you know. So, the first tip that I'm giving you guys is you need to visit the venue. Remember, you are going to be notified, right, about the venue um, of your interview. So, it's best you visit that place. Just to familiarize, just to know the place, just to... Just be to be there, you know, 
it's very important it makes you confident that oh my god this is the place i'm gonna go there and shine okay plus you know there are some territorial spirits guys if you are a spiritual person you know what i mean there are some of the uh, territorial spirits guys just go there be there and challenge them that i'm here to take my place back off it's very important guys if you are from far away uh i would advise you guys to get to the place a bit earlier an hour or an hour and a half or two hours just to you know for the same purpose right tip number two guys your dressing the way you dress matters most remember guys this is a nursing interview we are going for a nursing interview just dress professionally professionally dress yourself guys for ladies it's for ladies guys no fancy hairstyles no those red yellow white hairstyles unless it's the color the color of your hair okay you need to uh, you know dress your hair in such a manner guys the black hair the brown hair that's the most recommended uh, hair and remember to tie your hair don't let it dangle on your hair on your clothes just try and tie your hair there at the back okay look professional dressed for the guys you need to have a clean shave for both the hair and your beard then four more clothes you are good to go guys also for the ladies uh your makeup matters again just wear a neutral 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 guys neutral i've said this three times neutral be be neutral your makeup let your makeup be neutral don't be that girl guys remember this is messy <laughs> this is messy interview guys we don't want you guys to miss any chance uh maybe because of your dressing or the way you look just go there and nail it okay take your place i know you guys you have uh or you have been you know you have been googling you've been researching now i'm going to give you a list of questions that you are going to meet either or okay so the question or whatever the statement they like most to ask you is about uh yourself they can ask you tell me about yourself okay just introduce yourself to us then you just need to narrate who you are to them it's a one of the cheapest questions just tell them they actually want to know you who you are okay so you just introduce yourself right guys it's it's simple as simple as just introduce yourself in brief tell them your uh, all about yourself in brief uh but just in brief okay uh, then number two uh, the question that uh, they like most uh, to ask you guys is what inspired you to pursue the nursing career they like this question so guys let me tell you one thing uh, guys they are actually asking you this question so that they know they want to see if you are the real candidate the right one uh, um if you are really into nursing okay so the i want to help people answer guys doesn't apply at all it doesn't work okay doesn't apply to this question tell them something that is personal something that is connected to you for example let's say maybe you've been admitted into the hospital and maybe it's business uh inspired you the way she executed her duties the way she helped you you know maybe that's the the, the only thing that you have pushed you to into this uh, you know into this career or maybe you have a relative a sick relative like my answer was like when i was asked this question uh you know i've got something that is real something that is 
practical. I've got a brother, my young brother, who is an epileptic patient and he is mentally retarded and they've got some physical disabilities. So I grew up seeing my parents take him to the hospital, you know, uh, how they were nursing him at home, uh, giving him medication. I, uh, when I was uh, around the secondary school, I was actually helping my mother to, you know, give my brother some medications and uh, bathing him, feeding him, all those things. I told them the real thing, something that is tangible. And, you know, after this answer, I have nailed it. Yes, I have nailed it. Because I grew up seeing someone who was sick, helping him, you know. And this alone, this alone has actually pushed me that I want to help people who are vulnerable like this one, like my brother, those who are vulnerable, those who need help like my brother. I just want to give my life to such people, such job. That's, that's exactly what happened to me. I get into nursing because of my little brother. Okay. Okay, guys. So, what I'm trying to say here, give them that answer that is connected to you. Okay. They who know that mm -mm, this is the correct person, this is the rightful candidate for uh, uh, for nursing training. Let's just fish it. Fish it. Okay. <sighs> See, guys. Okay. Uh, the next question, what are the qualities of a good nurse? I like this question, guys. <laughs> qualities of a good, a good nurse. That's a simple question, guys. Just uh, uh, look into, you know, the good characters of a nurse. Good characters of a nurse. The nurse that you feel could be. Uh, if this nurse attends to me, I'll be happy, you know, I'll be satisfied. Okay, so uh, that's the nurse that, <coughs> that nurse, guys, that nurse who have good qualities, like good communication skills, someone who is open, who is free, someone who is so caring, who have patience at heart, you know, that one, that person who is passionate, a committed somebody, those are the good qualities of a nurse, of a good nurse. Yes, those are the good qualities. So you need to tell uh, these uh, the, your interviewers that nurse that you want. That nurse, who know that you are attending. Those, those, those qualities that you think put this nurse, if this nurse attends to me, I'm going to be healed. I'm going to be held. So that's what, just put your mind to that nurse. You know, I know a lot of people, they hate nurses. Yeah, nurses are so rude. Nurses are so rough. So tell them the opposite of those words. You know that, you know that you know you have nailed that uh, that question. Okay, uh, then uh, the next question that I want you guys to prepare is about the general conditions, the communicable diseases, the, the general disease that you know, guys. Like, um, it is, it is, you, you, we all know about the COVID-19, the pandemic, the global pandemic. Um, you need to know this, guys. Research, just do your research. Know about uh, COVID-19 and um, the effects of uh, this COVID-19. They can ask you what are the effects of uh, COVID-19 to the society, to the community. And is it? So you need to do your research. Know this COVID-19 thing in and out. And... Um, you like now guys open your ears open your eyes look around what is happening in the community community what are the conditions what are the diseases recently there was a campaign about um polio you know nurses were, were like uh, they went into the community to vaccinate uh children 
five years and below um against the polio so it was it was in june yes it was in june so this campaign you need to know so that's why i'm saying look around open your ears in the was repeated there is also uh this campaign about the drug abuse and uh the gbv the gender-based violence the gbv actually yeah, people are going for my workshops and all the stuff then the drug abuse it was launched by the zeta rapi i think it was in june or may i can't remember the the the, the month but these are the things that are happening okay so you need to know you need to know what is happening in the community that's being a nurse that's having people at heart and it's you have been saying i want to help people yeah the vulnerable people you know what is happening so that you know how to help them okay also you need to know about malaria tb hiv and aids all those things that's uh, just research do your research uh, uh, practice devise your answers about these conditions ask around if you are not sure ask people you know, you know uh, like manesi uh, those people the community health workers they know these things okay even Zana family planning really you should know those things ask around so that you will be well equipped with the correct information then um last but not least uh, why should we choose you as a nursing student why should we choose you as a candidate you're being asked here say you would you, with this question guys you need to tell them about your character that is related to nursing you have been saying i want this is this question that i want to help people answer it applies to this question tell them your character guys who you are in relate in relation to nursing tell them your achievements <clears throat> like nowadays people are doing nurse aid thing um most of you guys you want to to migrate you know to, to greener pastures uh, some of you have done the message training some of you you have been working in the uh, health system you have been maybe as a general hand or as a message or as a counselor or whatever the work you were doing in the hospital tell them that yeah, don't leave such things or you have been working in a supermarket or a restaurant or what just tell them that you know with this um, this option here which you have been working in a restaurant you know they know that you have got um, exposure you have got experience to uh, customer care you know what is customer care you know you'll be working with public when you're in nursing so you have been working with public or in shop Uri boutique, uri pa flea market, uri pa msika we 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 ma tomatoes, vegetables, supermarket. You have been dealing with people, so you know how what is customer care. You know how to deal with people. It's an added advantage, guys. Musa si ama basa enyu when you are answering this question. Musa si ama basa enyu. Tell them that. Nangandri a vendor. I've been working in Bari. They I've got msika. Timbare msika, you know, I've been selling vegetables. Customer care, tick, what one blue tick, you know, musasia mapa saying. So tell them your intelligence. The I want to help people answer this. That one you could yeah, maybe since you have been a little girl, uh <coughs> also wanted to work with people, especially the vulnerable people. Clothes, yeah, I'm a hardworking person. I can go beyond, above and beyond. even now. Extra hours, guys. You can work extra hours to deliver quality, quality, quality nursing, quality customer care. You can work. You know, experience. I've been working. You know, my my restaurant. 
those people, you know, like those people who work in at the chicken inn, the food restaurants, they they work um, 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 abnormal hours. Oh, the nation's an 11, so I can work extra shit. I'm flexible. Oh, the recession. Then the other thing, try by all means to show them that you are the rightful person, guys. That you are actually called for nursing. You know, nursing is a calling. So <laughs> just present yourself. Show them that you've been called for this job. You can do it, guys. That's all for me, guys. This is what I had for you. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Remember to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So that you know, ah, uh, you know, guys, when I, I upload a video, I'll give you guys some videos on how to, uh, what to prepare, how to prepare for nursing school. Because after the interview, guys, what we much nest so what we much nest so all those things, what to prepare, what is needed, we'll be giving each other some, yeah some you know some information here and there so please do subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you know kind of my videos i love you guys i love you so much bye sleep well